but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of just how big this is. So these are our horse stall mats. Um, I think they're like four by six or seven. Uh, so good, good deal. Um, we're gonna have to put these down all along this whole area. Um, so those are not cheap, they're like $50 each. And we've never had this big of a space actually covered with flooring. But I wanna give you an idea of the, so this is the before, and we're gonna have a lot of durings. We're not just gonna stop here and give you the after, because it's gonna be a minute. But the plan is to put up plywood walls um, all the way along the edge, and then the top, in my, if you do CrossFit, you know that you need a 10 foot wall ball target. So we're gonna do the bottom plywood's gonna be most likely black. The top I'm probably gonna do white just to keep some brightness in here so it doesn't get really dark. And then the wall ball target, I wanna do wood. So I want it to match our house. Our house is kind of that modern farmhouse, uh, rustic meets, um, modern in the house. So I want to kind of pull that in here as well. So I want just a thin strip of natural wood color as the wall ball target. Um, we actually talked about not doing a rig in here. Um, we never thought about that before, but I really like the uh, versatility that that would offer um, because once you have a rig in there, you have to set up all your classes a certain way all the time. Whereas um, if we change it up and we do pull-up bars, um, oops, sorry. We do pull-up bars, then um, we can get some racks for our you know, front squats, back squats and stuff, but those could be movable. Um, so that's what we're planning to do for that. And then we're gonna get a couple more bikes which we're gonna get rogue bikes for um, our next bikes. We have Airdyne, the Schwinn, and then a Zbex bike. Very different types of bikes. I'm sure if you've done them before, uh, you know the difference. This is more like, I feel like this is more like a, I don't know, like a Volvo type, you know, just kind of comfortable uh, car. And I don't know, this is what, maybe a Ford? I don't know, just more rugged, lightweight, uh, and this one's just kind of like your grandma's, your grandma's Buick, I don't know. Um, and then the Rogue bike is like, it's an iron horse. That is, uh, that is the devil's tricycle. So we're going to get two of those. We have one rower. We're going to at least get two more rowers. Um, we need... Some more barbells, um, weights, you know, wall balls, all that kind of stuff. But, and I mean, this has been, we have been dreaming about this since, definitely since 2015. So, you know, six years at least for opening this gym. So finally being able to start it will be really nice. And we just decided we're going to, we're going to go all in. We're going to do it. We're going to get this gym nice where people actually want to work out here. And hopefully that will bring people in. We don't want it to be too rugged. Like I said before in a, in a previous video, we've, we've had a building just like this in the past and it was never completely finished. Um, I'll, I'll link some pictures of it with this video so you guys can see. Um, we just never really, we never went all in. And we're gonna go all in here. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, and hopefully it's gonna be a great place for you guys to visit if you wanna drop in. Um, and just, just a wonderful place for us to work out and hopefully build our CrossFit family here in this new home and in this new area because we have decided that we are not moving. We're staying here. That'll be the first ever. Because being in the military, you know, you move every three years and I've never stayed in one place my whole life. So it's exciting and a little scary, but can't wait. So we'll just keep, keep you guys updated on our progress and, um, you know, hopefully you join us for this fun reno project because like I said before, who doesn't love watching a reno video? I love it. All right. Have a good one.